the stream. Hello, everybody. Oh, excuse me. Get ready for a nice, chill stream. Excuse me. Sorry. My song is still processing things. My God. We still have 750 people. If you guys want a sponsor, by the way, if you guys do want to drop that sponsor, drop exclamation point sponsor in chat and uh, follow the, the link that Nightbot will then post a little bit later. Nightbot, Nightbot is a hardworking moderator. It does its best to provide you with links in a timely order or in a timely fashion. So what are we doing? What are we doing here? Uh, what, what, what happened in the last episode of Slime Rancher? I mean, we got a key. Um, I, I guess we should be, that's right, okay. So I think what happened was we got 100 pogo fruits. Hold on, this game is very quiet. Let me turn this up. There we go, okay, okay, okay. There we go. Now you can actually hear it a little bit more. Uh, we got a, we got 100 storage slots in our backpack there. Which is like really useful. Oh, that's right! We put googly eyes on our slimes! Oh, that's great. Okay, I remember that. I remember that. Um, yo, this 100 space backpack is gonna be so useful for like everything. Everything in this game is about to become so much more easy. So much more easy. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, this is. I, I, I've, I've been waiting for the Slime Rancher segment. This game, it always, it always does me something right. This game always does me something right. Something so relaxing about playing this game. New update for this game coming soon too. So it, it, it won't be on this stream, of course, because I don't have the update. But um, <clears throat> the next time I stream Slime Rancher, it'll be on a new update. And there'll be like plenty of new stuff to do. I don't know exactly what it, what is the new stuff, but I know it is there. I would love to go to the new area too. Okay, chat, give me... Give me something to, 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 to debate. Give me an old... What's a good old Splatfest? What's a good Splatoon 1 Splatfest that I haven't already weighed in on yet? I would, I would love a little bit of, like, banter, banter material. To get, your, to get your opinion on. How about some, like, uh... Nah, I'll let you keep going. Callie versus Marie. You know what? I like you guys. I like you guys. Already out there with the hard-hitting questions. Who is the better squid sister, Callie or Marie? You know, I had to give this one a lot of thought recently. I think it's Callie. I I'm going to be dead honest. I, I, I like Callie a lot more. It just sort of hit me as soon as I saw her in game again. I'm like, you know what? I, th I think I prefer Callie. She's just more in, in, more in line with the personality that I, that I that I relate with or that I like. Marie is cool. Don't get me wrong. She's like the common cool type. I like the fool. I like the foolish Cali. I relate with it. It's something I look for. Oh, <laughs> I love these guys. So cute. No! I'm shooting water. Whoops. Fan art. I, sh I should show some fan art. That'd be cool. But yeah, pretty much uh, at the end of the day. That, that That's what I've concluded on. Callie is the best squid sister. I would have joined their team. I, I think Marie won, though. I think Marie won in, in the actual competition. I know Marie is most popular, I'd say. 54 pop, 51 ones. Huh. How did the original Splatfest go? Was because I remember it, it worked differently. I don't remember how it worked differently, but I just remember it worked differently. Wasn't it like the the, the least popular team always won? How does that even work? Why would the least popular team win? Or what? Or was it like something like it's messing with like the like the the people that that you're fighting with algorithms or something? Like 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 uh, the least popular team will win because it fights the enemy team more often or something. Battles were six times. Oh, what? At least popular team had better players. That, see, that doesn't surprise me. What do you do in auto cereal? Yo, hear me out. Ready? We eat cereal. Not even kidding. That's that, that's what that. I, I have the box of Odyssey. I have the box of uh, auto cereal behind me. And uh, I'm literally just going to eat it. I'm hungry. This is a 12 hour stream. I'm going to need sustenance at some point. I figure this was a good way 
to uh, to blend together my desire for consumption and uh, your desire for entertainment. All right, talk to me. What am I doing here? Rewards Club. Hmm. I don't care about extra hearts, though. I never die in this game. And if I die, it's usually like I fall off the thing. I fall off the world. There was a multiplication variable in the original Splatoon that ended up swaying in the less popular team's favor. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I gl I'm really glad that this one is just straight up numbers. There's no multiplication variable stuffs. It's just straight up like, hey, which team had the most? Cool, you win. Like, I, I saw the numbers. I I've seen the numbers for the first, like, seven Splatfests. There were some Splatfests. I was like, I how did I? I won by, like, actual... See, after I saw those numbers, I'm like, there's nothing I can do to jinx this. Like, it, like literally, I, I am a speck. I'm an insignificant speck in the world that is the Splatfest. My wins will not contribute to the overall score as a whole. Now, as a content creator, you could argue that, like, you know, because I... I will have a lot of sway in the effect of matches because people will pick different teams because of what what teams I pick. And to that extent, I agree with you. You know, there, there is a certain level of like, look, the amount of people I've had ask me, hey, uh, Phil, but what team you want for the Splatfest? I'm like, look, I'm not announcing until the Splatfest is here. One message later, hey, so what team you want for that Splatfest? Like, so I imagine to some degree, I sway more games than the average person. This is fixing Splatoon 2, but people complaining that the Splatoon uh, plays more. But that's only illusion. In reality, there's just more variety. Yes, uh, I, I agree too. I, I believe from the way it works, is it only like contabulates uh, the matches versus the enemy team. So as long as you play whatever, you know, as long as you do your best versus the enemy team, you're you know you're all good. When you fight your own team, I think it just it, all it does is buff your own. Uh, it just buffs your own level, if I'm not mistaken. I feel like Egg is going to win. I mean, look, I really hope they do, because that would be nine in a row. Look, I, I, even then, let me, let me, let me not talk about the future. Like, eight in a row is insane. How in a row, and how, how on earth did I ever manage to acquire eight in a row? Like, th th like, th this is, at this point, me just calling a coin. I flip a coin, all right. What, what am I getting? What, what, uh, I forgot you guys can't eat these. Whatever, you guys enjoy the mangoes. Blah, 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 blah. I'll be back for you guys later. But, um, they're like, what? Why did they, why does that girl keep on coming down here and shooting mangoes at us? It's really rude. There we go, get a couple of these chicken boys. There we go. Hen hens. I, 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 I will never call them by the right name. It's like Windcraft. There we go. You guys remember Windcraft? Oh my god. Everyone spam read the chat. Why? I'm already reading it. So you guys remember Windcraft? Good God. That it, it's been way too long. I would actually love to play a little bit of Windcraft again. I I I, I forgot when it was recently. Actually, I think like when was it? A couple months ago. I loaded up Windcraft and I was like, yeah, let's see what's going on here. It's been a while since I've, I've played Windcraft. Hey, what's going on, Taylor? We're back. Yo, Jelly. I like bantering with you. Give me a banter subject. Give me, give me like two sides. Give me something to do with food. Oh, can I get a Jelly? Can you give me a banter subject that has to do with food? My name is Dan, and instead of uh, playing a real MMO, I'm playing more Minecraft. Look, man, MMOs suck my time away. I used to be a big MMO person. I used to really love um an iPhone MMO. It like caught all my time. Um. What was it called? I think it was called The World of Magic. Yo, okay, before we enter banter topics, The World of Magic. Is there anyone who, by any remote, inane possibility, biscuits or bagels? That's, that's... No, I guess that is, uh, that is close enough to banter. But, um... Yeah, real talk. Anyone, by any chance. Also, $5 from Senpai. Thank you. I was just playing Slime Rancher and eat that odd cereal. Thank you very much, my man. Oh, you know what I should have done? Oh, I should have totally done something like, 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 save the animals. Where you guys can each decide. You know, you guys can put money towards, like, one side or another. Would have been hard to cal like, calculate. I have played it. I don't believe it. That's like, uh, like, like, that's me, like, bringing up... Friday, what? Oh, right. Friday, that's like me bringing up a game from so Friday. long ago. Everybody like, I expect if you guys had played it, you'd been weekend. popping off. Like, oh my god, someone else remembers I this game. Just playing Slime 
rancher and eat that O-D-Y-C-E-R-E-A-L. <laughs> eat that O-D-I-Y-I-C-R-E-L. Not sure what I just spelled. I think I spelled Ariel there. There we go. Get a couple of these. Perfect. But yeah, man. Don't hurt the chickadees. I will never. All right. Um, what was that? Biscuits versus bagels. See, here's the thing. I, mind if I... Okay. Mind if I do this? Mind if I change that to English muffins? Because look. I was never too big on English muffins for a long time. For a long time, I was like, you know what? English muffins are like, eh. They're good, but they're not that good. Recently, I've been awakened. My life has been changed. I went to a local diner. They they, they had uh, some cheap English muffins. They had, I had a side of English muffins. They were like the best things I had had ever. They put the perfect level of butter on them. They were the perfect level of like warm. They had the perfect like heat level on them. Like in that sec in those like moments, I was I was changed. They had done it. They they had, they had melted my cold heart. Like it was it was a beautiful combination of butter and bread. In a way that oddly I hadn't had before. Perfect level of warm. Well, you know what I'm talking about. I'm saying it in a weird way because I'm I'm losing my I'm losing my train of thought a little bit. But like, you know what I'm talking about. It was the perfect like I, I love just pelting <laughs> those little those guys with just things that they can't eat. <clears throat> perfect level of warm. That being said, on total bagels. Bagels are the better. Hey, thank you for the two dollars from Luke Skywalker. Hi, fail boat. Hi, fail boat. Oops, I failed to spell boat. XD. That's like one of those things. Like, they must be trying to be funny. Because otherwise, they could have used back backspace. LOL. But yes, no. On total, uh, uh, you know, on paper and in practice, I'd say bagels are the better. I would, I would, I would, I would agree with this. Chad, where do you stand on this issue? On this issue? On on this uh on this thing? Squeaky. There you go. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. There we go. I hate how like touchy it is to get these. Very hard to pull these correctly. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Bagels are superior. I, you, you guys better be saying bagels. Every so often, so I, I was thinking Splatfest. Uh, every so often, I go to my, uh, I go to my bathroom, and we've run out of toilet paper. But I look at the toilet paper, and it's put on backwards, and I get just irrationally upset. I about, oh, whoops! I failed to spell boat. X D open mouth smile. <laughs> open mouth smile, and I just get irrationally upset. I'm like, why? Why would you ever hang toilet paper the incorrect way? Like it, it, it doesn't suffice in any in any reason. There's never a reason, except if you have a cat. Apparently, if you have a cat, I've heard the uh, backwards toilet paper is the way to do it. Bagels plus honey. That sounds insane. Bagels with honey? Like, non-toasted? Just maybe, no, 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 no. Toasted bagel with honey. I think that's actually not that bad. Cupcakes with honey? Chat, remove yourself. Remove yourself. If you're having cupcakes with honey, be sure to consult your doctor. Oh my god. Where should I be going? Hold on, let me, let me go, let me go. Honey goes with bread very well. Uh, yeah, but like a bagel? Would a bagel not just like? I don't know. I think they'd just be a little bit weird. God, I hate how much my my nose itches right now. No hold up. Toasted bagels, honey, maybe like ham in between. You know what? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. If honey is the only ingredient, it's messed up. What are you doing? But toasted bagel, ham, and honey. I like where that, I like where that's going. I really like where that's going. Mr. Krabs is outside your window. Chat, you okay? How did this get all the way out here? Wow, this wow. That must hold on. How did that get all the way out here? This radiated port. How fast must that have traveled? This, that's you know what? What am I doing? This radiated port deserved to be out there. Be free. Be free. Hmm. 
Where did you get your name? Uh, Philboat's just used to making me laugh. Philboat is actually a meme. Uh, or was a meme a long time ago. It just made me laugh. I like making people laugh. One on one. Um. Where's the new area? Right. Found it. Found it. I found it mentally. I was like running through the entire area. Mentally. I'm like, oh, there we go. What the heck is this? This is Slime Rancher. Okay. How do I? That's what I should figure out. How do I get out there? What do you need? Oh, the Kukadabas. Um. Hmm. I think I just need to collect a bunch of Kukadabas. Uh, a meme that didn't age well, just like Dan. Excuse me? Look. I'm not gonna say I, I, I aged well, but comparatively to how I looked, like, three, like, two years ago, I feel a short haircut really did me well. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, if you look at some of my older videos, like, god, I, for some reason, I thought long hair was the, was the real, it was the cool stuff. And I tried to get it going long, and man, it really wasn't. <laughs> did not look good looking back at it. Did not look good at all. Uh, Splat is bagel and cook bagel and biscuit versus cookie and milk. Cookie and milk, baby. Seeing young Dan with coffee. Nah, man, I, I never drank coffee. What you were seeing was a uh, either a smoothie or a hot chocolate of some variety. I don't like coffee. Fast bagel and biscuit versus cookie and milk. There you go. But, um... No, I, I'm not a coffee person. Coffee is grotesque. I mean, it does good things uh, for, like, you trying to stay awake, by all means. You know, if you need to drink coffee to stay awake, go for it. But, like, I'm glad I don't drink coffee. See, I don't drink coffee and I don't um, drink soda either. So I'm going to be okay for a long time. I'm going to live to, like, 120. And by that logic, I then allow myself to eat, like, really bad stuff for myself. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. When I was a kid, and even a little bit now, um, for the longest time, I was like, you know what? I Because I don't drink coffee or soda, I can probably just get away with consuming, like, 15 candy bars in a row. <laughs> like, you know, I, it's, it's a net gain in terms of healthiness. If I, you know... If I had moved the- oh my god. Which is better, white chocolate or dark chocolate? Chat, you know how to get me going. Dark chocolate! The mix-up. The mix-up no one expected. Now, I'm not gonna bring up dark chocolate versus white chocolate. It's too low-hanging fruit. What's a good other chocolate debate we can do? Oh, give me like cho- give me like- What are some good chocolate brands? Um, uh, that- that have some good like- Like we got like- uh, Like the obvious Skittles versus M&Ms. But those are like two- I'm talking about something like, um, give me like Gushers versus Starburst. That's a good one. Gush. I, I think we're going to draw some blood from chat from that one. Gushers versus Starburst. My mouth is watering as I'm talking. Where, where does your allegiance lie? I'm not going to say my allegiance until I see a little bit more from chat. It's a, it's a tough one, in my opinion. It's so easy. Gushers? I will admit... Dude, it, it, I don't think it's that easy. Like, I got... I, I think I, too, would side with Gushers. Gushers just... It, it, it's more satisfying. It's so much more satisfying. Starburst, though? Like, it's pretty good. You, you can't lie. Like, if you're easily dismissing Starburst... I think you're... I think this conversation has got, you know... Like, you're, you're too biased. I'm not sure what, you know, Starburst did to you when you were a kid. But, like, it's not that bad. Gushers is good. I, I, dude, so many people in chat are saying Starburst. Alright. Hmm, what, what, what's another? I, I actually don't want to remove this one from the table yet. What? Gushers? You know, oh, maybe, maybe it's a thing, like, people just haven't heard of it. Or people just have no 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 revote new vote oh hello oh he's a mad boy new vote for the people who have heard and have tried both options which is the better one because I can understand you know you like you, you haven't had it you're gonna go with the one that you're used to you're gonna go with the one that you actually know Hank versus honk god oh god that guy, that guy was really aggressive there 
I love starbursts. Those are, they are they are good. All right, all right, all right. I got another hard hitter for you. I got another hard hitter for you. This one is like almost a classic, like a classic argument. Give me the argument between M and M's versus Reese's Pieces. And I mean default M and M's. No peanuts. No like, no like the peanut. I'll be I'll be honest. I'll be straight up. Peanut butter filled M and M's like. Godlike, godlike. I didn't realize how good the peanut butter filled M&Ms are. They have become my new favorite candy. But Reese's versus M&Ms. Where does your allegiance lie? M&Ms. I'm getting a lot of M&Ms. I'm going to be real. Reese's Pieces, baby. I'm a Reese's Pieces boy. Me and Jelly have never agreed more. Like we we've had two we have we we've had two We've had two moments where we have agreed on, on similar subjects. Reese's Pieces, baby. Both share good value. I think the... Did you just crush it? Okay, thank you. I, I'm gonna be real. It's a weird... It's a weird thing to say. But, like, M&Ms aren't my go-to when, when I want chocolate. Like, it, it, it's, a, it's a matter of, of superiority. If I want chocolate, I'm not going for M&Ms. I'm going for like, I don't know, like a Hershey's bar or like, you know, like a Kit Kat or a Crunch bar or Three Musketeers. You know, like, I'm not going for M&M's for chocolate. You know where I go for peanut butter candy? I go for Reese's Pieces. Like, like it, it just, it, it covers more grounds well. Chat is so delayed. Nah, man, it's only about eight seconds. That's like pretty good. It could be less delayed, I suppose, but like, hold on, wait a minute. Ah! Uh, wow, we actually made that. Very impressed by that. Daniel, what? I want to hear your arguments. No, you guys are you guys are coming at me. What are your arguments? What? Why do you like uh, M and M's more than Reese's Pieces? I'm living with chocolate rage. I, like, I'm actually I am a little bit upset that there's so many M and M's. You wouldn't think it would be this heavily M and M biased in chat. Okay, I, I see now. Now I'm curious. How far can we go with it? Like, 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 like what's the next evolution of M of um of Reese's Pieces versus M and M's? To see both at the same time, Rare Train has the best idea. That that is a good combination. That is a good combination. Um, see, I'm trying to see what what else would like would, would get you guys going here. To see both at the same time. Yeah, Rich, and if you want to be the worst. No, like, not at all. Dude, Skittles? Uh, not, not Skittles. Oh, God. Throwing Skittles into that mix is like a... It, that, that's like a confetti bomb. That's horrifying. Um, Skittles and M&Ms used to be, like, the, the clashing, you know, candies. Nah, man. No longer. That's where that's where uh, Reese's Pieces comes in. You have Reese's Pieces, M&Ms, and then Skittles in one hand. You're gonna have a bad time. Starburst versus you know what let's let's go down the ladder instead of going up let's go down uh starburst starburst versus skittles where would i lie on that so now we're now we're almost crossing into different boundaries like like, like you know these these two shouldn't be compared because they're you know they're not standing on the same legs chocolate plus peanuts no no they, they see i'm not a big peanut person i'm a peanut butter person i don't like the the texture of peanuts Starburst versus Skittles. Where, where, where's the where's the chat at? See that one, I'm a little bit more torn on because I'm not really a, a big Skittles person. But like comparing the two mentally, I could see myself going with Skittles for some reason. Aw, I thought we were actually able to. No, don't fall and die, please. I can't eat nuts. That's understandable. Hmm. This one's actually pretty evenly drawn. I saw... No, no, no. Actually, I, I see a little bit more Skittles. No, and I see a lot of Starbursts. You guys are coming at me in bursts. <laughs> you guys are balancing each other well. Like... This chat is too fast sometimes. That's true. Hmm. 
See, I, I love comparing foods with you guys. Because I feel I learn more about you guys from it. Sweethearts. Oh, wait. What were they? Whoppers versus, um... They're chewy. I can't remember. I, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm, I'm drawing the biggest blank. I'm drawing the biggest blank. Milk duds! There he goes! Yo, Jelly! Coming in with the clutch. Thank you. I'm like, I could not remember for the life of me. Life of me. Whoppers versus Milk Duds. Pledge your allegiance. Where you at, chat? This one's a little bit more off the off the off the vector scale. They're off the radar rather. What's a what's a, what's a vector scale? This one's a little bit more off the radar. No, no, no. This is not this is not like, this is not like a burger. This is not a burger. Whoppers are the candy. They're like crunchy. I'm gonna be real, dude. It it's like hold on. Jelly was saying something in chat. You know, all caps. Only a degenerate will pick. I disagree, man. Dude, I, call me degenerate. I'm a milk duds man. Whoppers are good. I gotta admit, I have had my fair share of entertainment from Whoppers. Like the crunchiness, the 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 the, the big crunchy bite you get from them. You know, they're served three at a time. They're very satisfying to get through. Understandable. Milk duds, something about the flavor. Something about the flavor of them is so good. They are a little bit chewy. The downside is there. But look, man. Dude, I, I love this rock. They love this rock for some reason. But like, milk duds. I, I love them. That being said, it's not, that, that's not like an easy pick for me. I was looking for the $1 there. It's not an easy pick for me. Like, by all means, Whoppers almost won that in my mental war. I had, like, that was not like an easy, that was not an easy decision. But... I still think Milk Duds comes out on top. Arrow versus Kit Kat? I never, I don't know Arrow Bars. Or, I mean, I, ha I know what they are, but, I, like, I haven't had them. Or if I have had them, they don't stand out to me in any any particular way. Moom versus Owo? Kill that chat member. I'm not sure who it was. So I'll just end it. End their life. Give them the ban. <laughs> uh, I, I really need to find that portal home. I've been running around here just trying to collect kookadabas. Now I've been running around trying to find the portal. I am kind of stuck. I mean, it's obviously somewhere. But boy, do I need to find out where it is. I would love to go back home. To actually, like, keep things going. Hold on. Where is the money's going? Well, thank you for the $2. Directly into my pot. No, no. Um, God, no, it's going to uh, Extra Life. Support Children's Hospitals. If you want to learn a little bit more in detail of details I cannot give you, um, you can just look on the Extra Life page. Pretty much the money is going to go directly into Extra Life. Um, I believe the actual network was called Children's Miracle Hospitals. Um, Where is my money is going? <laughs> it, go it goes to help out some uh, help out children that are going some th that are hospitalized, going through some things. Helps their treatment. Gives them the swords they need to combat whatever they're combating at the time. But yeah, thank you guys very much for the donations. That is that is very nice of you guys. Hmm. All right. No, that's not. It's too unfair. I was gonna do. I was gonna do something incredible, like like Odyssey versus Hat in Time. But that, that's too biased because you guys probably played a, more likely to have played Odyssey than Hat in Time. But um, Coke versus Pepsi. Nah, I don't. I, see, I can't compare again. I don't drink soda. Um. Burger King versus McDonald's, you can tell by, like, numerically. I need, like, preference stuff. I need more, like, preference -y things. Um... Like, I got a message from my friend. I love a Hat in Time. Like, Hat in Time is amazing. Oh, okay, you know what? You got me. Waddle D versus Waddle Do. Oh, my portal home. Very nice. Uh, I need to turn in all of these very fast-like. There we go. Waddle Dee versus Waddle Dee. Where you at, chat? 
Dun 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 Ooh, that's a lot of those. I'll take these. Very nice. I believe I can also now go back home and store these too. Perfect. Let's do that again. Let's do that a couple more times. Waddle D versus Waddle Do. I'm getting a lot of Waddle Ds. I'm getting a lot of Waddle Ds. Med Knight. Yeah, you got you guys are Waddle D people. Understandable. I also I too am a Waddle D person. How about something like non like, 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 like give me like a more out there Kirby enemy. Like How about okay, okay. Sword versus blade. Or no, so, sword versus cutter. I wanna sell these. Yes. Sword versus cutter. In the battle of which can cut most. I probably a sword guy. Cutter doesn't appeal to me. Ever since the original games, not haven't been a, haven't been a fan of Cutter. I just don't get that much too much too much fun out of it. Sword is classic. That is the Kirby. Everyone loves Sword Kirby. Everyone, yeah, Sword no competition. Exactly. Cutter Cutter is like Cutter's for intellectuals. You're insane. Cutter is not as fun. You do not get as much genuine fun out, out, out of something like Cutter versus Sword. You're right, there is no competition. What's the, what's, give me like, like, uh... I'm trying to think of some outdated Kirby powers. or some Kirby powers we haven't seen in a long time to compare. Cupid versus Wing? Nah, see, that, that I feel like now I'm going like way too out there. I should keep it within the Kirbys that we're, that we're used to. Hardy's versus Carl Jr.'s. I, 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 I'm sorry, but I, I don't know even what you're talking about. Hmm. What am I doing with my life? Watching Daniel play Slime Rancher? You're watching Daniel play Slime Rancher for a good cause. DDD or Med Knight? All right. You know what, Taylor? You, you're going with the questions that I like to see. DDD versus Med Knight. All right. Now, this has to, this, this has to have a little disclaimer next to it. We're going by in, We're going by the games. Because if I'm talking anime, DDD, are you kidding me? Gotta club it out there, Kirby. Like, you, you gotta, you gotta vote for the big boy D. You gotta. We're getting a lot of Med Knights, yes. If we're talking in-game, I'll give it to Med Knight. I like Med Knight a lot more. Buff DDD, that, that's a, that is an intellectual chat member. Going above and beyond right there. The Call of Duty. Uh, what did I just think of? There's something I just thought of. What did I just think of? I I, I had some other uh, good pitch there. Um, why am I blanking on it? I hate that moment where you where you have like a good conversation topic and just immediately just gone. He wasn't even relating games. It's okay. I think Midnight is a good rival for Kirby. Yeah, no, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Oh, there's some. I, I hate it. It's on the tip of my tongue. A lot of people are saying DDD is thus incorrect. Yeah, DDD is alright. In the anime. Some about the anime. The Kirby anime. Classic. <laughs> Which is better, the Kirby games or the Kirby anime? Sweats heavily. Mario and Lu you know what you know what let's go for it Mario versus Luigi The classic battle Pledge your allegiance where you at Mario or Lu Mario versus Luigi A lot of going yeah, dude Luigi Luigi I agree with you guys I, I fully agree with you guys. Mario gets too much credit. Luigi does so much work. Luigi Link. Princess Toadstool. What was the one I just thought of? Again! Ah! Keeps dissipating from my mind here. 
Cappy versus Flood. Cappy versus Flood. Tornado versus Water. What? Cappy versus Flood. Fight. Oh, no, okay. I, uh, I'll, I'll save it. And now I remember it. Tornado versus Water. Everyone's going Cappy. I would, I would agree. Flood is cool. Cappy. Cappy. All right. You guys ready for it? You guys ready for it? Only... So this is a Mario Tennis one. Waluigi. But... Wait. Waluigi. Versus Chain Chomp. The precious boy. Who just wants to play tennis. He just got his first racket. And is already playing Mario Tennis with the big boys. Or Waluigi. Something so so questionably rated. Waluigi's so easy. Everyone always goes with Waluigi. You know what? I, I like like they're all so perfect. I can't shoot one. Uh, hold on, wait, wrong, wrong place. They can't eat these. Like I. Did you see the rose, Dan? Oh, I saw the rose. No, Waluigi did the pose. He did a pose with a rose. It was beautiful. But that chain chomp. Like he's he's such a pure boy. He's such a pure boy. I like look, Waluigi. There are times I think he gets too much credit. He's perfect, don't get me wrong. Don't 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 start I, I'm talking about like It's Friday, Friday. Well, first of all. Gotta get down on let Friday. this pass. <laughs> Everybody's looking Thank you for the five dollars. Toadette versus Goombella. Toadette versus Goombella. Hold on on that one. But like, look, I feel the Wal Waluigi. He gets a lot of the crowd a lot of the time. And whenever a new person enters the scene, of course, there's still people are still gonna go with Waluigi. You gotta broaden your horizons a little bit. You gotta realize, like, wait, look, there's a pure boy out here trying his hardest. He's doing his best. Dude, you gotta give some credit to the Chain Chomp. Toadette versus Goombella. See, like, I don't have too much of a preference, honestly. <laughs> I just love hitting them over. Um, but look, all I know is someone gives me, like, 38 moons at the end of Odyssey, and it ain't Goombella. Someone gives me, like, 38 moons. And Goombella is not involved. Speaking of Goombella, hey, Mar Paper Mario. Isn't that a fun game that I, I haven't actually played yet? No, I, that's a lie. I, I've played Paper Mario, but I played I, I, I played it from um, Blockbuster download or, or Blockbuster rentals. Yo, hey, who remembers Blockbuster? <laughs> only 90 kids, only 90s kids will remember this, this, this prompt. Hey, which is better, Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? Is Nickelodeon like still alive? Or has it all been consumed by Cartoon Network? No, I should not think about it. No, no, I think Nickelodeon's still around. Yeah, no, Nickelodeon's still around. Which we got, though? Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? Pokemon versus Mario? Hold off on that one. Hold on. We're, we're spamming questions. I, I, want, I want to get the prompt going. Hmm. They're both dead. Adult swim. <laughs> See, it's a situation where I, I, I just, I don't know what's on the channels anymore. The original Toonami. There we go. The real, the real ones. The real ones in chat. Yeah, everyone's going with Cartoon Network. I'd have to agree. Even back when I was a kid, I would still agree. If I had to ask, like, past boat. Like, really past boat. I would still have to go with Cartoon Network. <laughs> Hello there. What's what's another good one? Hmm. Donkey Kong versus Bowser. Chat, where are you where are you at? Donkey Kong versus Bowser. Hmm. DK? I, I have to go with DK. I, I thought about it. DK. He has a rap! He is a meme! 
Bowser's Bowser's cool. DK has like so many memes around him. He's a beautiful beast. Bowser's cool. Bow dude, Bowser's theme song from I think Super Mario World. That is a that that song almost exclusively makes me want to vote for him. DK man. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful. Um What are some other good prompts? What are some other good prompts? Bowser is better if you play Bowser. I haven't yet to play Bowser's Inside Story, but I love that there's two of them. I love that there's two of them. Well, here actually, before we before we do any other prompts, let's 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 let's, let's fester one last prompt. I, I I need we need some time for it to fester. But before we do that, I have a question. And it's if do you guys have any questions? I said that this was pretty much a Q and A segment, but I guess I really done haven't asked for any questions. Uh, Waddle Dee versus Goomba, Waddle Dee. We've already had something similar to that. That's probably the most fair one of the two. But like, you guys have any questions? Oh no! I suppose I should just ask that. Just see, uh, just see. He he he. No, that makes sense. Favorite food? Dude, I love, um, I I adore uh, macaroni. Macaroni. I'm not talking about like strict macaroni. I'm talking about like. Um, white, white cheddar, seashell noodles. Though, like, 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 Auntie Anne's. That stuff, oh, cheap, good, easy to make. Done. Done. Goes well in my stomach and well in my budget. Amazing. Um, have you had to Mario Odyssey? I, I have not had the Odyssey cereal yet. That is coming up next. That is coming up next. Auto cereal is coming up next. Taylor's saying stop, no halt. We gotta follow up with something there, Taylor. What, what, what are we halting about? Did you just say Auntie Anne's makes macaroni? Yeah. I thought that was like their main thing. I have that like daily. Oh, I'm sorry, Annie's. Ah, oh, excuse me. What was it not Auntie Anne's? Am I insane? Auntie Anne, Annie's. I suppose I'm not the most insane person if I'm wrong. Auntie Anne's makes pretzels. Ah, oh, you're right. Ha. Oh yeah, yeah. There's actually there's, there's there's a place um I walk by constantly that is called Auntie Anne's. Yeah, you're you're you are right. It just sort of meshed into each other in my head. My apologies. Even that. No, you're right. It is Annie's. Oh, oh, oh. I, I repictured the box. It is a thousand percent Annie's. Which is a lot of percent. You gotta admit. Bam. Um. Hmm. What else to uh? What what what's a good last banter topic? We need one more banter topic that has depth. I need some depth to this banter topic. Thank you, ben Dan uh, Bandana Gal. Appreciate it. Captain Crunch versus Fruity Pebbles. I don't have enough weight in. I don't have enough weight to swing around there. Hmm. Dragon Ball versus Bakugan. Oof. I'll be super biased on that, though. I need something multi-part. Give me some foodie. Chat, you, it, it's gotta be a foodie thing. Should probably should, should have specified a while ago. <laughs> One Punch Man versus Goku. Give me some foodie. Which, oh, you got me. It's already done and locked loaded. Guys, you ready for this prompt? Which is better, breakfast or dinner? And I'm talking on like the foods available or the time. You know what? I'll leave it open to you. Breakfast or dinner, open-ended, which is better? 
I want to hear you what you guys say. I already have my option. 100% locked and loaded. I'm getting a lot. I'm getting a lot of dinner. I'm getting a lot of breakfast. You know where I stand? Solemnly on breakfast. I am a breakfast man. Like you can have breakfast any time of the day. Eggs, godlike for every every meal. I would have eggs if it probably wouldn't kill me. I, I assume at a certain point it's not that good for you. Breakfast is like the the stuff dinner don't get me wrong you get a lot of good stuff out of dinner you get a lot of good stuff out of dinner but breakfast has the fundamentals bacon eggs orange juice you feel good after a breakfast i like if i eat breakfast i feel good if i eat dinner sometimes i feel good sometimes it's more of a satisfied feeling sometimes it's more of like a okay you know what that was a very good steak you know that was a that was a very good uh, macaroni, you know, like, you, you, you get a nice little kick out of it sometimes. You get some ribs or something, you know, like, all it takes is one good breakfast item. And you just start to base things around. Hash browns. Oh, my God. Give me every hash brown in the world. Hash browns are the class. You know what? I got one more for you. This one's a doozy. I have to, I, I hope it's a doozy. French fries versus hash browns. I, I, I hope I'm saying this in a, in a, in a way that makes sense. It, it, may, it may not be as comparable as I'm thinking. But real talk though. French fries versus hash browns. Because like, I, I'm so torn. On one side, I, fries. Oh my god, fries. So easy to wolf down. But hash browns? If you had an option of what you want as a side, hash browns or fries, I don't know. I think I might go with hash brown. I'm torn though. It's so tough. I think I'd be a hash brown kind of a person though. I'm so glad the next segment is just going to be me eating. <laughs> you guys don't even know. I'm so hungry from all this talk. Or maybe it's because all this talk. I'm going to consume everything. Brash hounds. Fries go together with more things, but on their own, hash browns are superior. But that's actually a lie. Oh, okay, okay. Let me, let me add a correction. You know what hash browns are low-key amazing at? Sandwiches. Nice. Sandwiches. Hash brown, egg, cheese, some meat, bread, done. Put that on a sandwich. I don't want to hear any arguing. Hash browns on sandwiches are way more godlike than you would ever imagine. When ordering fries at a restaurant, you don't know what kind of fries you get with hash browns. You're a lot more compressed and... Ah! I see what you're getting at. I see what you're getting at. Yes, hash brown breakfast sandwich. They get it! Chat, you get it. That is it. Breakfast sandwiches with hash browns. Mm, I'm a vegetarian, help. <laughs> Half these prompts have been about me. Have we had any prompts about me? I think we've had some prompts about me before. What, what, was, what was the one? What, what's the best meat? I mean, I've gone back and forth on this, but I think chicken. I think chicken is, is the best meat. It's really good. I understand when the, when the Splatfest ends. Hmm. Hash browns aren't salty enough to put salt on them. Sausage versus bacon. Oh, that, that one hurts. It's like picking between my two sons. Sausage versus bacon. Um. Really depends. Like, I've had some bad bacon before. Like, like sometimes bacon just can just be not done right and it just doesn't work well. I almost never had bad, bad sausage. There's something to be said about the juicy sausage, though. 
You take a you take a bite of like a crisp on the outside, juicy on the inside sausage. Oh, heaven. Heaven. Bacon is just like good. It's like Hold on. What was that? Then the splat fest will start as you start the splat fest. I don't think so. I don't think the splat fest ends at 10. I think it ends at 11. That guy flew. Try a cold hot dog? Chad, you're insane, you monsters. You actual animals. Broccoli versus carrots? Now we're into the weird prompts. I, that's a weird prompt, I say. They're talking about as much as I was talking about before. Yes, but you start at 11, it says. No, I started at 12. What? I'm confused. Hold on. Oh, you're right! It's not a two-hour segment! Oh, you're right! Maybe I should, maybe I should move it. It, because it, it, it's me making that's a two-hour segment, right? Yeah, no, me making is a two-hour segment. Hmm. I have an idea. I have an idea. How about this? McDonald's versus Burger King. <laughs> what was that one? McDonald's versus Burger King. I'll, I'll let that one sit. McDonald's versus Burger King. Um. What if. What if we made that our encore game? What if we switched it around? So we did this. Sponsor voted game. Me making Splatfest Encore game. How's that sound, chat? I like that. Because then we get the full Splatfest in. Or maybe, you know what? I have a better one. I have a better one. Me make or no, I, I kinda want. No, Encore Game should be the end. Cause that would be a good way to end it all off. Encore game is gonna be the last part. Splatfest has been moved. It is now going to be uh, happening at 8 to 9. And then it goes to the Encore game. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching the Slime Rancher section. We're going to be moving on to Super Mario Auto Serial uh, for 30 minutes. Not an hour. For just 30 minutes. Then, we're starting up. So, wait a minute. That didn't update. Hold on. I think something didn't update correctly. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's awkward. YouTube messed up. It didn't update my, my description. So actually, it's not too big of a change. We're going to be doing Ultimate Chicken Horse um, as our first segment before Odyssey Balloon Races. YouTube didn't update that. That's annoying. Lost viewers because of hard questions. Dude, 600 viewers is like fire though. That's like incredible. All right, that's it for uh, Slime Rancher. We're going to be moving on over to, um, hope you guys have all